how did it all start? So my mother, who was popularly known as Granny, and her baby sister, as she called her, Mrs. Wambuzi, they had a brother who told them that my sisters, you have told for a very long time, it's time you started a school of your own. They were quite advanced in age. And it's amazing, with absolutely nothing but sheer determination, they said, let's go and start a school. At that time when they approached me, they were, I was teaching. So they thought that I had acquired enough experience to start the school with them. Secondary school, I had only six students, you can imagine. But the confidence I had in these ladies, actually that's what pulled me. I said, how can I let down my teachers? 2005, on a very sad note, January 22nd to be precise, Mrs. Wambuzi passed on. So parents came and they would ask me, now Mrs. Maraka, now that Mrs. Wambuzi has passed on, which school do you recommend we take our children to? Because this is now the end of Green Hill. I said, number one, I recommend Green Hill, number two, Green Hill, and number three, Green Hill. In 1999, the population wasn't that big yes. of the children and the teachers. So we have um, had growth in population of, um, of, of the school. We have um, seen a number of, uh, a number of improvements in infrastructure development. Yes. There is um, growth in terms of um, information technology. The level of confidence of our children has gone up as well. The grade is improving, the, the staff members, we are very few now, the number is big. The policies and the uh, compliance, the ministry regulations and all that. You would see now we are more of a stable organization in terms of operations. Now when what was going to start, we were taken with a selected number of teachers to see the place. I saw the place, I said, well... There are hardly any people here. There was just grass, plenty of grass, but we could see that a school was going to come up. When an advert was put in that the new school was going to start, parents applied. They also paid school fees for a place they have never seen. The campus where we started from is actually a residential place belonging to Engineer Kajina, 37, that was uh, the ones that actually even reported on day one. Yes. But by the end of the term, we had uh, 147. And the next year, we had 444. Many a times, we always think, if I am going to plant some trees and they're going to take 30 years to mature, then I may not take that venture. Mm. But uh, one of the founder members was uh, 75 years. The younger sister, and got the word younger sister was 64 years, 75 and 64, and you have a vision that uh, we are moving on with.